This is a crash course on how to effectively negotiate within the Mechanical Turk environment. In this video, we'll go over some key ideas and helpful strategies by highlighting how they play out in an example. For the purposes of our example, let's say that there are two art collectors interested in dividing up some pieces before parting ways. Let's take a look at the conversation. Hi, I'd like to take all of the paintings and the sculptures. You can have the tapestries. Here, I'm starting with a very high offer. By doing this, my other offers will seem more reasonable in comparison. There's also the chance that my partner might just accept this very high offer. That does not work for me. May I ask, what kind of art interests you most? My partner has rejected my initial offer. By doing this, my partner makes it possible to get better offers. She is also asked a question about my preferences. Questions help to identify areas of compromise. Our preferences might be the same, or they might differ. There's no way to know without discussing them. So ask questions when you can. I'm mainly interested in paintings. There is a large, empty wall in my gallery and I thought I might fill it with a collection of paintings. Here, you can see I've given a reason for my choice. It's important to give reasons because they make my offers more convincing. Interesting. If that's the case, you might like tapestries more than the sculptures. How about you take all three of the paintings and one of the tapestries, I take two tapestries and all three of the sculptures. My partner has presented a counter-offer based on my preferences. She's also expressed her emotions with an emoticon. Emotion can be used to convince your partner. Yes, I do prefer tapestries over sculptures. But I would need more than just one tapestry to fill my wall. How about I take two tapestries instead of just one? After this, my partner and I went back and forth for more turns. After a certain number of turns, buttons become available for us to finalize an agreement or walk away from the negotiation. Hey, if we don't come to an agreement sometime soon, I'm going to walk away and it would be worse for both of us. Here, I'm trying to push the negotiation forward. And again, I've expressed my emotion to make a point. But you don't want to be rude towards your partner. Because if either of us choose to walk away, we only get one of our highest priority items. That's true. You can have all of the paintings and two tapestries. I will take the rest of the remaining pieces. I like that. You have a deal. At last, we've come to an agreement. Once everyone has come to an agreement, you must finalize the deal. If you do not do this, you will not receive any bonus. We will now show you how to do this by using the scenario you will be participating in, which involves the supplies needed for camping. This is what it looks like when I submit a deal. And this is what it looks like when my partner chooses to accept a deal or reject it in order to clear up some confusion. And that concludes this crash course. Thank you for your participation.